my first sense of acceptance uh, came from uh, the, the gym, you know, or the playgrounds. Mm -hmm. And I guess you express yourself somehow. You can be the person that you want to be, or you can have people view you in the vein that you'd like to be a view that. Uh, there's a certain uh, uh, adulation. There's a certain uh, uh, the fact that people will take the time to look at you and say, hey, I like this guy. This guy has something to offer. And the only place I could achieve that was uh, uh, in the gym and uh, on the playgrounds. And uh, I guess that became uh, my motivation. And I wanted to be known. I wanted to be like uh, um, when the Giants came to San Francisco in 1957. Everybody was excited. My teachers, the white teachers, my uncle, the Hollis, because uh, Willie Mays was coming. And it seems that every time they were speaking Willie Mays, they'd be happy with me with some joy. And uh, hey, I wanted to be able to affect people like that. Entering the record books became sort of a routine for OJ. During the 1975 season, he nearly reached the 2,000-yard mark again. But injuries held him to a lead leading 1,817 yards. He was, however, successful in his bid to break Gale Sayers' NFL record for touchdowns in a season which stood at 22. In the final game of the year against Minnesota, the Juice juked his way past two frozen defenders and danced into the record books with his 23rd touchdown of the season. You once described Warren Payton of the Chicago Bears as an insane runner. How would you describe your own style? Um, I felt that uh, when I ran the ball, I was sort of a cerebral runner. <laughs> you know, I look at a guy like Marcus Allen. I think I enjoy his style of running today because even though he may not be as fast as, as big as a lot of runners, he understands running the football. I mean, you can see every move he makes, uh, you can see that the guy understands you, to see what he's trying to do. I consider myself a student of the game. I understood defense. I studied defense. I understood our offense. I understood the capabilities of the players around me. I was one of these guys that driving home from work some days, I wouldn't even be called driving home because I'd be dreaming about running the 23 blasts and running plays and what would happen if this happened. So my mind and my soul was in running the ball. Yeah. <laughs>